Good day, viewers. You're on the front porch today with Walter. It's a cool 90 degrees in the shade. I think I'll share a little tasty tidbit on what I had for lunch today. Good day, viewers. P. Walpar here. I just had an excellent little sandwich and I should have shared it with you. But I've already made it and ate it, but I can tell you about it. We were at the grocery store the other day and I saw this in the biscuit department where the frozen biscuits are. Toaster biscuits. Now we buy regular like homemade biscuits frozen. All you gotta do is bake them. And they're usually thick like a regular biscuit. At this point, I'll interrupt my video to show you what we use. Here's the kind of biscuits we usually buy. Take a close skin off so I can open the package. Grand's biscuits. They're just, my hands are clean. Frozen biscuits. They're pretty good too. But, uh, what I like to do is fudge it a little bit and put it on defrost in the microwave for about a minute and then put it in the toaster oven. It, it seems to do better. The really best way to do these frozen biscuits, in my opinion, is to let them thaw out. Put them in a biscuit pan, put them up here on the stove and let them thaw for an hour or two. And they'll rise even more than what they were when they made them. They're just made with a machine somewhere. They're made according to grandma's recipe, I reckon. You take some of these frozen biscuits and let them thaw out for an hour and then put them in the toaster oven. We just cook them right here in the toaster oven. On one of these little, one of these little pans like that. That one's well used. We use it for practically everything. You'd be surprised how often we prepare various dishes in that toaster oven. But anyway, today's little biscuit tidbit. Uh, something I thought I'd share with you. Back to my lunch review. But I saw this and picked them up. They were a little expensive. They were like three dollars or something. But I've had two of them now. They come two to a pack. I had one the other day and I had one this morning or a while ago. And what I've done with this booger is you take one of them out and it's not very thick. It's about the size of a little pancake. And it toasts up really nice. It doesn't take long either. Just pop it in the old toaster and get it as dark as you might like, but it took Probably less time than it takes to make a piece of toast. Well, I took a knife and split that biscuit open real thin on a paper plate. Slopped some mayonnaise on there and cut me a big old thick slice of homegrown tomato. I really should have shared it with you because it was delicious. You got to put enough mayonnaise on there to make it slurpy when you eat it. It's just mayonnaise running off your fingers. Got to have two napkins to eat the darn thing with tomato juice dripping out of it. But it sure was good. A little salt and pepper would help it. I had to use that artificial salt. But I'm getting so used to it. Regular salt tastes too salty to me. Ready in minutes. So that's Mary B's Toaster Biscuits. And uh, they were remarkably well. It says buttermilk biscuits. They came out very well. Uh, maybe next time I make up one of them Mater sandwiches, I'll just show you how it looks running down the corners of my mouth while I gobble that up. Get you some Mary B's Toaster Biscuits and give it a whirl. Sure beats making your own. I really should have shared that sandwich with you. But I wouldn't want to just make you hungry from looking. I appreciate y'all tuning in today. I 
really should be out cutting grass or doing some kind of yard work. It's way too hot in the afternoon now. I guess I could get out late in the evening or early in the morning and do some of this stuff. Maybe tonight we'll can some more tomatoes. Maybe I'll share that with you. Next time you're on some little decision on what to have for lunch, think about a mayonnaise. Mayonnaise biscuit tomato sandwich might be a good thing to have for dinner. It's gotta be a homegrown tomato. It's gotta be cut nice and thick. It's gotta be slobbered up with mayonnaise. And it's gotta be a little salt and pepper. Gotta have a big old tall glass of iced tea to wash it down with. And uh, two or three napkins to wipe all the mayonnaise off your face. Then you can come out here and sit in a rocking chair and just digest it. Thanks for stopping by today, my friends. These people all far saying, y'all have a good day. Thanks for listening.